Alright, today I'm going to make a little video on how to both hide and unhide a text file within an image file uh, using OpenPuff. So, first off, uh, I'm going to create a couple folders here on the desktop. And the one's going to be um, original for my original image file and text file that I'm going to be uh, using. And then uh, I'm also going to put a new one that's uh, hidden. Makes it a little easier. So, um, first off, I need to <coughs> open up the original folder. Make it a little smaller so I can see it. If you, as you can see, there's nothing in there. I need an image file to save. And so I'm just going to open up uh, a web browser and search for bacon for no apparent reason. Click on images. I need a pretty big image to save my text file inside of. And so I'm going to go to size wallpaper because wallpaper is usually pretty big images. Uh, this one down here looks like it's what, 2978 by 1970. It's pretty big. So I'm going to click on it and then click on it again so I get the actual image. And so. Um, right click on the image and click, click on save picture as. I'm going to save it to that original file, uh, original folder, so I'm going to go to the desktop and there should be one that says original. And bacon3.jpg sounds good, so I'm just going to click save. So if I close my browser, then in my original folder I have something called bacon3.image. So I need my text file to, that I'm going to hide inside that image. So I'm going to right click inside here and make a new text document. I'm going to name it joke.txt. I'm going to open up that joke.txt file. And let's see here. Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use a honey comb. <laughs> got that from a friend. So I'll go ahead and save that. And then close it. So now in my original folder I have both the image and the text file that I'm wanting to hide inside the image. So now I'll go to OpenPuff. And I'll click on hide. So there's three things I need. I first need a password. So I'm just going to type in password. You might want to use something a little bit uh, tougher than that. And I'm going to uncheck B and C so that I only have to use one password. Um, number two, I want the data that I'm going to hide, so that would be my text file, so I'm going to browse and find my text file, so I'll go to the desktop, and let's see here, original folder and joke.txt, and then I also, three, I need the carrier, so that will be the JPEG image that's going to carry my text file, hidden, of course, and so now I've found it, it's, looks, it's in original, so again, you go to desktop and original, and bacon3.jpg and it takes a second for it to add it and so we through alright there you go now we notice it's a JPEG image so I need to select my bit selection option based on the same thing so I find JPEG image and um, click the plus sign next to it and I'm going to use maximum bit selection and click hide data so now, this will be the hidden stuff, so I'm going to again go to my desktop, and down here someplace should be the hidden folder I just made. So I'll click on hidden, click OK, and we again wait for it to hide, so um, give it a second. Wait for Alright. And da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh, and one one carry process. That's good. So it looks like it works. So I click on done. So here's the original. Now let's go to that hidden folder. Possibly. There we go. It looks like bacon.jpg. I'm going to open uh, with. Windows Photo here will be fine just to show you that it actually is a JPEG image of bacon. Same image looks the same. So, but our text file is hidden inside there. So, I want to close this out, the hiding portion, because I want to next go to unhide. So, click on unhide. Again, 
use the same password they used before. I used password. I'm going to uncheck B and uncheck C because I didn't use those. And I'm going to add the carrier. Now this time the carrier is the thing that has is the picture that has the joke hidden inside. These are the two originals, it's the original folder. So I'm going to go to the desktop and find the hidden folder and find that same bacon image. And it'll get, take a second for it to add the carrier. Wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we've got bacon.jpg. Now we again need to select the same thing. So JPEG, JPEG. We click on JPEG and we, and we go to maximum, because that's what we used before for the bit uh, bit selection options, and then click on unhide. And I'm going to go ahead and just save it in desktop. Uh, and the hidden stuff, hidden folder. And so it'll take a second for it to unhide. It's processing that JPEG image and trying to get the text file out of it. And so it says it was processed. If we notice here, then the hidden file was joke.txt. That's good. So I must have found it. So I can close this. And we look here, and in my hidden folder, there's a joke.txt. Open it up, and why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use a honeycomb. <laughs> so that's how you use OpenPuff to both hide and unhide an image. Hopefully this helps you out.